Uh, we're going to talk about the technology about stem cells and how they're being used in our products. But in order to understand that, we're going to give you a little background about stem cells and what they are. That's my office building in Beverly Hills. And what we are really about is about anti aging. Anti aging is needs to address a few things. We need to address oxidation, which breaks down the tissues, and we need to address the inflammatory components and the, the imbalance. No, just, I'll just move here. Is that better? Uh, the, the imbalance that comes from just aging. Nothing stays the same as we age. Our cells don't produce the same sort of balanced uh, factors and the turnover is not as good. So if we can find a way to do that, we really are going to be able to do it in the age. Things that we can't really change easily are your genetics, your environment, your social habits, your lifestyles. That's really up to you uh, to do, which we can give you the tools, but we can't really put something on you and, and change your lifestyle. So um, let's talk about what stem cells are. Stem cells are defined by three things. One, that they can renew themselves. So they can just keep making new stem cells over and over again indefinitely. Then they have the ability to actually differentiate, to become different kinds of cells, to mature into a bone, a cartilage, a different kind of cell. And their job is to repair and regenerate tissues. So that's what stem cells are, and we have it from even before we're born. So there we go. Okay. So there are different types of stem cells. Stem cells that are most controversial are the embryonic stem cells. They're the ones that everybody has ethical issues with, and um, they're the hardest ones to control in the clinic. The other ones that we have are tissue stem cells or adult stem cells. Those are much more easy to get and much more common. They're basically in your body as you develop in the womb of the, of the mom, the cells differentiate, and some of them stay stem cells, some of them become muscle and bone and cartilage and they specialize. So the most amount of experience we have with stem cells is with the bone marrow stem cells for over 40 years. So there's a lot of data out there, there's a lot of publications, there's a lot of treatments for bone marrow transplant for cancer and other diseases. We took that idea and we put it to mesenchymal stem cells, which are really highly concentrated in the fat. So the fat has the most amount of stem cells of any tissue in the body. And what we can do is without having to grow them, without having to do anything, we can take them and use them in the clinic or we can take them and grow them and use them to do different treatments. And one of the great things about these kind of cells is they do exactly what we wanted to do in the body in terms of regeneration of the tissues. Because their job is to regenerate um, bone, cartilage, muscle, fat, skin, and that's what we're really trying to do. So that's the easiest place to get it is the fat, and that they're the most concentrated. So, Knowing that, I was able to develop a process called the stem cell lift, which is taking the fat and using those stem cells in the clinical setting. And when we did that, we took the fat and we concentrated it, and we used it for reconstructive purposes, to treat scars, uh, to treat uh, joints, to treat lichen sclerosis, which is an autoimmune skin disease, um, and of course, the cosmetic application. So here's a patient that really was one of my first patients that made me realize what stem cells are able to do. He had cancer in his product, guys, which is right here on the cheek. And they took it out, they did radiation, they did chemo, and he was left with a big scar 
that was very painful and very uncomfortable and we couldn't really have any surgery to correct it. Yeah. All the different things they did, it wouldn't work. She came to me and said, would you try it? And I said, yeah, let's try it. We did about eight treatments, um, and in two years, we were able to really correct all that, the defect. Not only we build it, but all his radiation dermatitis, the burn from the radiation, went away. His skin healed. And that was amazing to me, because it wasn't like any other filler we were using. And... So here's a patient that came in, wanted to look younger, we injected her, and we can see, like, she's better, but it's not just the skin, you look at them, the, 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 the fullness is there, they look younger, you ask the proportions are bad, but there's something going on with the skin that wasn't supposed to happen just with filling it. And every time I do this, I'm amazed that I do that when they come in. So, it's really something that we were looking at and saying, what is going on? What is causing the skin to look so good and get better if it's not the cells? Because it happens way faster than the cells would do. The cells usually take three months, six months before you can see a change in the cellular structure. But we're seeing these changes within weeks. So we looked at different things that we can think about and why those changes were happening. And we came up with the idea of taking these cells, growing them in the laboratory, and not using the cell at all, just using what the cells produce as they're growing, and putting that on the skin. And here's a patient that had an ulcer on her leg for months and months, it wasn't healing, they did that oxygen, they did therapy, they did all sorts of uh, treatments with uh, topicals, and it just nothing helped. And within two weeks of putting on the serum, she started healing. Here's a patient that uh, calls me, goes, my son, you know, had hot heat poured on him. What do I do? We come in, we put the uh, serum on, and basically within a few days, he wasn't in pain anymore. After a few weeks, it all went away, and there's no scar. And that's amazing. Yeah. So we put it on people who didn't have any medical problems, and lo and behold, there's wrinkles got better. So we're like, hey, we got something here. And we don't have to go through the whole process of, you know, doing $10 million studies to, to get a drug approved. So uh, we, we basically we went and started using it cosmetically. And lo and behold, as they so eloquently uh, explained that they came to my office, and we hit it off. They are such kind and lovely people. Say it, Ron, say it. <laughs> <laughs> they, they are amazing. They are amazing. Every experience we got them, they just want to do good for people. They didn't tell you, they retired three times before they did this. They don't need to do this. They want to do this to help people. Did I say <laughs> So, what they met in, I told them about the product. Now, you gotta go back to 2009. In the US, nobody knew what stem cells were. And it was really hard to explain it to the lay public. And when they explained to me how they got it, you know, go and do this sort of marketing, I thought that was a great idea because now you go face to face, you explain to somebody what is this product, what is stem cell, why does it work? And you can see how great the, the company has grown and, and the, thanks to the ambassadors of this company, we've really achieved amazing results. And uh, we, we've we're going to talk about how we actually get the cells and how we actually get the product. So, we get a little bit of fat from Randy. Uh, <laughs> we spit it down. And then we grow it. We grow it in, in the culture. And these the cells grow and they sort of produce factors. They produce proteins. And there's different kinds. 
just like we're, they do in the body, they do in, in the petri dish. And this is what they look like under the microscope. And what we do is we collect that cocktail of actors that are being produced, and we basically put it in the syrup and into the other products that we have. The syrup just happens to be the most concentrated amount of growth factors on any of our products. Um, it has cytokines, growth factors, interleukins, prostaglandins. There's no other product that has all of those things in it. Most things are using plant-derived factors, which we'll get to, uh, which are using really one sort of factor. So these factors can do many, many things. Um, and there's thousands and thousands of factors, and we only know about a few of them. So we know some of them help wound healing, and wrinkles, and some of them are more for antioxidants. They some of them lighten the skin, some of them uh, help to detoxify the body. Um, but the main thing that we want to do is actually just replenish and balance those factors in the skin, because as we age, like we talked about, we lose that balance and we start to have uh, the aging process. This is a sample of what the stem cell um, proteins look like when we test them, and here's another version of it that we look to see what's in our product, and there's over um, 250 growth factors in the product, and they are meant to really do a comprehensive rejuvenation of the skin. So we've made the skin care line from the wash to, to the moisturizer. Um, the, the problem with, with all sorts of uh, cosmetic products before this product was that they tried to use something that wasn't ours to help rejuvenate our skin. The, the change here, which is really a change in the paradigm, it's a change of thinking, is what can I use that is most likely to, to recognize what is going on in my body that comes from human to repair it? And that's the growth factor from our own cells. And when we apply that, that is the closest thing you can get to sort of mother's milk. Everything else that we do that is not naturally comes from us is really formula that we're trying to make that mimic love does make by we're never gonna get that. It'll never be the same. So when you put that on the skin, that physiologically balanced composition, the stem cell uh, factor, is really the closest thing you can get to what your own body is producing. Um, the product itself is very important for you to know. It does not contain any cells, any stem cells, any cells whatsoever. It only has those factors. The, the product comes to, to be manufactured sterile, so there is no viruses, there is no bacteria, and um, because it's natural, you, you really don't have to worry much about having um, a adverse reaction or allergic reaction to this part. Uh, so once you put it on, you're going to replenish the stem cell factors that are missing. You're going to stimulate the ones that are needed needed to be stimulated, and you're going to enhance and, and increase everything that the skin needs to rejuvenate. So what happens with with our aging process is that we lose our ability to maintain moisture, we lose the ability to keep our protection. Um, unlike other products, this product does not need a carrier to go inside the skin. Most products have to have a carrier because it doesn't come from us and we need something to drive it past our protection on the skin to go inside. Here, we don't need to protect it. From, the, from our own growth factors. So once you put those growth factors, they find their, their way inside the skin through the hair follicle, through the oil glands, and through the breaks in the skin that, that come. And, um, and what happens is 
once you put this on, you only need a tiny amount of product to get the result that we want. Because what happens once you put this product on the skin and it goes inside, your, your cells get stimulated, they get signaled, they talk to each other. Right? This is the language of the cell that talk to each other to um, tell each other what is needed to be done. So once you put this inside, they go in, they interact with the first layer of cells, and those cells are stimulated to produce other factors. Then they do sort of like a domino effect. They produce other factors to the other cells, they stimulate the other cells, so you get a much deeper and much wider effect just from the little serum that you put on your skin. So we talked about how this is different than other products that, or other things that may come from stem cells. Our product is not from embryonic stem cells because they are not really mature enough to be human. They're still in the embryonic state. So they produce a lot of things that we may not necessarily want in our body, and nobody really knows how to control those things. There's ethical issues with it. Um, and basically, it, it really is not the, the most um, optimal way of getting the part. So that's why we don't use the embryonic. For the bone marrow we talked about, bone marrow is really meant to, to create blood tissues. So your red blood cells, your white blood cells, that's from the bone marrow. That's not meant to regenerate your skin, your fat, your bones. Where, uh, your bone, your cartilage, it's really meant to do blood. Um, so when you take it and you grow it, the factors you get are not the same. The, the better factors are from the uh, fat cells and you get much more and much easier to get from the fat than it is from the uh, bone marrow. And then the plants, they're not human at all. So they're not gonna be the same as ours. But they do have some effect, it's just they don't have as good of effect as, as the combination of these factors. So you get one growth factor or one factor that you put on and it does one thing, but that one thing, if you put too much of it on, then it's not in balance because now you're putting too much of it on. So you can't, you can't get to that point using the uh, stem cells complex because that's that's already able, your body is able to sort of balance itself through the signals and choose each one so it reacts differently in each person so if I put it on I get one reaction and if you put it on you get a different reaction depending on what your body needs does it need to be more uh, smoother does it need to be more moist does it need to uh, have less wrinkles all those things uh, is it more plain is it younger is it older so they all will pick up and use those growth factors as they need it individually. Um, so we talked about all the things here. Uh, so they have the synergistic effects between all the growth factors. Um, and then, there we go. So the first thing we gotta do, should I go to the, there we go. So there's three things we need to do to treat the skin. We need to clean it, we need to treat it, and then we need to protect it. So the first thing we're gonna do is use the uh, cleanser that helps to balance the pH of the skin. The pH of the skin needs to be 5.5 to be at its optimal health. So what we try to do is to improve that pH to that level, and we try to take off the debris and the, uh, the dirt and the dead skin layers so we can have better penetration of our factors and our cream into the skin. So we do that morning and night, and then the first thing that goes on the skin right after we wash is the serum. You want that to be the first thing because you want it to penetrate, you don't want anything to be pre uh, preventing it from going into the skin. And you put it on uh, morning and night, and <coughs> After that, we want to put the sun, sunscreen with a moisturizer in the morning. So the sunscreen, uh, when we did the studies in, in the 
thing on like 20 years ago already. We, we found that SPF of 30 gives you 98% protection from the sun rays. You don't need more than that because you're just getting more chemicals and you don't need to put more than SPF of 30. So we use uh, the most uh, advanced uh, sunscreens to, to improve that. Um, and we have the uh, moisturizers in there that work as antioxidants. They work to improve the skin barrier, to lock in the moisture, and to rejuvenate the skin. And all of our products are paraben free and they're oil free. Um, at night, at night you don't need the uh, you don't need the uh, sunscreen. So we have a moisturizer that works synergistically. They don't have the same product in it, so they work in, in different things. So one of them has vitamin C, the other one has cucumber, um, and they all work in different ways to work to reduce the oxidation levels, so the damage that we have, the inflammation that we have in the skin, and uh, they help to moisturize and improve the skin quality. Of course, we need to have something for the body because to use all those things on the skin individually is difficult. So we've combined the, the uh, products so that you have the serum and the antioxidants and the hydration in one package for the body. And you can do that uh, two, twice a day or if you have as much as you need depending on if you're in a cold environment, a dry environment. So you, uh, that will help improve the overall skin in the body. Then we have to have something that works immediately because some days we can't wait and uh, few, for a few months to look good. So we have to have some, some days where we look good right away. And we have this uh, awesome listening mask where it can immediately lift the skin and sort of give you like a facelift effect for a few hours where uh, you put it on and you leave it on for, uh, for a few minutes, about 15, 20 minutes, it dries off, you can peel it off and apply uh, your products on and look much more rejuvenated. It has this, uh, a lot of different things in it to help improve the uh, texture of the skin and to improve the pores and, and open up the pores. So I recommend that you should use it at least once a week. Um, if you have an event and if you want to use it every day, it's gentle enough that you can use it every day. It doesn't have a um, acidic peeling effect, so you can use it without having to get red or peel. Um, and then you can see how much improvement you can get from the product. This is probably one of the hardest areas to, to get improvement is the neck, and that's a pretty leather. Um, uh, weather <laughs> skin because that, that's sun damage. You can put even both off the pillars and it won't be much. Here, within, within a few weeks, the skin got much better. Here's a, actually, this is a Jeunesse distributor that came up to me um, and said, Hey, that's me. So she gave me her pictures and uh, she showed me how great her skin had improved after two weeks. And um, we can see that that we get benefits, but we weren't con uh, we weren't con uh, concerned about what we thought. We were concerned about what people, other people thought. So we went to one of the most important labs that does all these testing for all the major companies, and we said, "Okay, test our product. Let us know how how our product does." So they tested it for how wrinkle reduction and for thickening spots, and. What they did was they had this whole system with their cameras and uh, infrared and whatnot, and they, they have a whole computer system that looked at it. And when they did the test for the wrinkles, we had amazing results. We had over 60% of patients saw that the 60% improvement in their deep life. And um, here's an example of one of them shows where the lines were and how how it's improved over the course of two months. And here is another patient that shows that not the deep lines, but the fine lines, and how it improves over 50 percent in a matter of two months. Um, and for the pigment, we also saw a significant improvement. We saw 52 percent improvement in uh, 
the health of the treatment spots. And um, once, once the two months were up, they tested them again, and you can see how much lighter and how much uh, less they had. What was amazing when they did it, all the patients, 100% said that they would recommend it to other people, that they would have their families use it. And uh, a lot of them felt, uh, over 80% felt better in terms of how they looked, and how the skin was, and that they looked younger. So we have third party groups that are part of work. When I was in Australia, when I presented some of the patients, some of the uh, distributors came up and said, oh, you should see my picture. I said, great, let me see your picture. So they showed me their pictures, and after 17 days, you can see the change in the skin. And this is after 51 wow. days. Wow. And then she met me, and she goes, well, I got my picture. And she, put, she gave me her picture, and you can see how amazing it is. She told me, this, this is my mother and this is me. <laughs> so that's six weeks out. And then if one of my patients decided, after all this, that uh, let me try it for myself. So she did it only on one hand. And she comes back after a month and goes, oh my god, I can't believe it. Look. So I took a picture of her. Mm. So this is really our product line. Um, if you have things that you want to share with me, if you want to uh, show your pictures with me, I would love to have it. Uh, email it to me. We look forward to growing and uh, bringing you better and more improved products. We have a uh, few products that are coming out in the side of the yard. And um, hopefully we'll have even better products coming up in the next uh, few years. Thank you very much.